Welcome to Copper Thoughts Media. Here we are with another rip for Copper Thoughts cards. And today, you can probably hear it in my voice, I'm pretty excited. Why is that? Well, it's 2024. It's Happy Valentine's Day for those who uh, participate and care. But today, well, we're ripping open the 2024 Top Series 1 pack. It came out and I picked up at my local David Adams. Let me get the light a little bit better. There we go. And it looks like there's 36 cards in this pack. Now, I did pick this up, and I also picked up a hanger as well. So, 59 in this box, and 34, 36 in this one, rather. But we're going to open this one on camera. We're going to do that one later as well, but today we're doing this one. Pretty excited. Reason why I got back into cards last year, as you know, with the lot that I purchased. And I've always been a top spin. And I got involved with the 2023 Tops Chrome, as you can see. And had some success grading them to a point where I said, you know, I can start doing this to a point where I can do it full time. And here I am. So here's the new one. Of course, I butchered this pack. But I'll probably get another one. So it's okay. Okuni won't mind that bad. Let's see. I can fix it. So it says to look for the royal blue base card and parallels in the uh, smaller packs. So let's take a look. First of all, as we've all seen the design, I think it looks nice. Uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of modern, a uh, little bit of old school 80s with the neon and the, with the pl with the team names. I like that the names of the players are bigger. Some people say they don't like the edges, how the edges are, well, black up on the tops. Um, ironically, let's get a little closer. <sighs> Sorry about that. But as you can see, they're pretty... Cards with dark edges are tougher to grade, especially for older cards. But We'll see how these will end up grading. It, also, I call this no comp day because, well, there's no comps. The, the cards came out today, so we have no idea. So, first one is a Bryce Elder. Just looking for, just looking. I mean, they do look sharp. I do like also how the, the color, let's get a little closer. The color also will kind of match the player uniform a little bit. I like that with the yellow with the brewers that look sharp real sharp yeah these are pretty cool Mackenzie Gore here's a rookie of Jared Trillillo now obviously for the rookies we have no idea because well <laughs> it just came out so we're gonna put the rookies in the middle uh, and anything royal blue or autographs fingers crossed we'll go later just to show you the side Looks like there's some color in the back, so. My favorite insert I've seen online so far has been the sketch. It's the blue one, so hopefully, fingers crossed, get one of those in here, too. So here's a Geraldo Perdomo. Braxton Garrett. Here's a rookie of Zach Geloff. And once I do go through these, these cards will be up for sale. All well, the ones that I don't keep. <laughs> <laughs> up on Copper Thoughts cards on eBay, so be sure to look up. Also, click like and subscribe both to the eBay and my YouTube channel. Here's a uh, Dalton Varsho. Kind of wish this was in blue, but yeah, these are sharp. Here's a Dominic Canzone from the Mariners. And also, we are fans of rookie cups here, and boom. There's a rookie cup of Corbin Carroll. The last Corbin Carroll rookie I did rip of the Chrome. Um, I did grade it out as SGC 10. Sold that during the World Series. But this one I'll probably grade and keep. I do like the look of him. It's a nice uh, maximum effort look on his face too. <laughs> the modern day Brett Butler people with power. That's what I'm calling them. I'll put, I'll put Corbin up here. All right. Next up, we have uh, Chris Taylor. 
Nathaniel Lowe from the Rangers. Looking sharp in the throwback, too. Man, that's clean. That's a clean card. I've heard backlash on these as well. Only thing I would say, the fade isn't true. You know, uh, it's obviously white on the bottom of the card. And then it's gradually up to like a gray and smokish, kind of hazy look on the side. But it doesn't look even to me, but that's just me. I've noticed that, but next is a Victor Medros. Another rookie. Here you go, Mets. We got a Pete Alonzo looking pumped. Haven't seen any numbered cards. I have, I'll have. i obviously check on the back. Let's see the back of this one. Let's go, Pete. Like I said, it's a Series 1. Wow, it says Topps Instagram logo. That's hilarious. Instagram has made it to the back of trading cards, people. Unreal. Unreal. But yeah, it looks pretty, uh, they look nice. I'm impressed. Uh, next up, we have a Bobby Witt Jr. In full flight, too. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Ooh. And this is the first Shohei card I have. We are Shohei holders, people. And, yeah, he did lead the American League in home runs with 44 last year. Unbelievable. Obviously, he just had the, just recently, this is being filmed on Valentine's Day, over the weekend. Next up is the Chicago Cubs, but back to this card. Whoa. Deadly. They are very glossy on the front, not on the back. But he won that handily. I'm sure he will probably prefer not to be injured. As opposed to winning another home run or a home run title. But man, it's going to be excited, it's exciting seeing him on the Dodgers this year. I'll tell you that much. All right. Next up, like I said, we have the Cubs, a team card. It's a pretty cool card. I always love team cards. Oh, and what do you know? Right after that, we have another Cub. Adbert Alizle. Alizle? Wow. Al Zole. Sorry, Edward. <laughs> and next up, we have a Seth Brown from the A's. I don't know if they're going to be in Oakland or Vegas. I hope they stay in Oakland. That's just my two cents. We have another, not a team card, but a Blue Jays Unite. Outfield hug becomes staple of victory. Interesting. Let's see what the back of this looks like. Oh, this is what the checklist cards look like then. Okay. I believe. Oh, no. This is the American RBI leaders. Oh, that's just one card. I'm sorry. This is a checklist, technically. Hmm. Okay. It's just not team specific. It's just, well, pretty random. Next up, we have an Andres Gimenez. Oh, I see some color on the back. We have a Connor Joe. Nice card. Nice celebration. He's a good player, too. Oh, here's a hit. We have an Ellie De La Cruz. Very, very, very nice. Of course he goes in the rookie. Ooh. Oh. Could you imagine if we had the Ellie De La Cruz in the gold as opposed to the Chris Murphy? But we will take it anyway. So it looks like we're on a gold run. Nope, just the one. Okay. Oh, what is this? This is a Miguel Cabrera Greatest Hits. Is this a memorable card? Ooh, okay. Pretty sick. I like how it's like the globe in the background. I can't really even tell what that is. Hmm. Beautiful card, though. Shout out to Miggy. Yeah, just another insert. Sick regardless. Stars of the game, Julio Rodriguez. Ooh, hopefully it's signed, right? No, it's not. It's just a sick card. Shout out to J-Rod. Next up is a, ooh, another Corbin Carroll. And this is a classic. Sorry I'm being quiet. I'm just looking at the card. Pretty sick. 
I like the future ones from last year, but these pop a little bit more. Hey, let's go Mets. Uh, Mets heavy hitter, share a laugh. And that was the problem last year. Um, Alonzo's a heavy hitter. Um, the other guy is not. <laughs> I mean, not that he's not, but Lindor is, he's not the kind of hitter you really, I don't know. I want him to play better defensively as he does, but his bat is what his bat is. So this is just a random checklist of the cards. It's not, okay, that's what I'm reading right here in the back. But no, overall, no, good card. I like the orange highlights for the Mets, though. And shout out to Lindor. We should have a good season this year. I don't mean to say we. I mean the Mets. <laughs> Next up, we have a Nico Horner. Garrett Cole from the Yankees. All right. What is this? American League uh, ERA leaders, it looks like. Garrett Cole, Sonny Gray, and Kyle Bradish. Great shots. Now this is a team card of the Seattle Mariners. Very cool. Here's a Connor Wong card from the Red Sox. Looks like a couple more left. Mark Vientos from the Mets. And last card is... Okay, another a National League Leaders RBI's card for Matt Olson, Pete Alonzo, and Ozzy Albius. Pretty sick. Nice. So overall, what do I think of the cards? <laughs> I thought it was a great rip. Uh, just to give you an idea of what I paid for this one was, the jumbo pack was $9.15, so... Did I get my money back? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I will eventually. Um, these were came out to be pretty good cards, especially it's Ellie. I didn't see any of the Royal Blue. I, I'm, I'm still not sure what that is referring to. Uh, the next box I will be getting Besides this uh, relic, well, this one that says there's look for relics and uh, let me see here, yellow base card parallels. So I haven't seen what those look like, but like I guess we'll be on the lookout and stay tuned when we rip this. But no, overall, I think it's a great pack. I the reason why I look forward to these is that I can't wait to see these in a chrome. That's gonna be beautiful. The on the edges once they are in the regular tops chrome edition in the spring or later on so yeah but no thanks for watching stay tuned for the next box and click like and subscribe